everyone welcome to the solution series of the book introduction to real analysis by bartley and shaber in this video i will solve problem 1 from the section 4.1 so here we go this problem asks to find the condition on mod of x minus 1 so that the following inequality holds so this problem is based on the epsilon delta definition of the limit of the function which says for a given epsilon greater than 0 there exists delta greater than 0 such that mod of x minus 1 less than delta implies mod of x square minus 1 less than epsilon so consider the problem a so in this case epsilon is half so to find the delta we need to rewrite the lhs of the given inequality as follows like something like this mod of x square minus 1 is less than some constant times mod of x minus 1 so this is the target that we need to achieve somehow so let's see how we can write this thing since mod of x square minus 1 can be rewritten as mod of x plus 1 mod of x minus 1 let's call it equation 1 now let mod of x minus 1 is less than 1 this implies mod of sorry this implies minus 1 less than x minus 1 less than 1 this is same as 0 less than x less than 2 this is same as minus 2 less than x less than 2 this is same as mod of x is less than 2 okay so therefore mod of x plus 1 is less than equal to mod x plus 1 by triangle inequality and now i will use this uh, bound so we will have this is less than equal to 3 so now i will use this in equation 1 so using this In equation 1 we have mod of x square minus 1 less than 3 times mod of x minus 1 this is what we wanted the question says like find the condition on mod of x minus 1 such that this inequality will hold so so you can think of the bound on x minus 1 such that this x square minus 1 is less than equal to so or less than half so choose mod of x minus 1 is less than 1 by 6 then what we have then we have mod of x square minus 1 is less than half okay now just note here we have chosen mod of x minus 1 is less than 1 by 6 and here also we have chosen mod of x minus 1 is less than 1 so now we need to choose delta is equal to minimum of 1 comma 1 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 6 
therefore the required condition on mod of x minus 1 is mod of x minus 1 should be less than 1 by 6 so next problem is b so here the function is same x square minus 1 but the mm, value of the epsilon changes so let's see what we can do so given inequality is mod of x square minus 1 is less than 10 to the power 3 directly we can write okay so till here the solution till here will be same for this also so what we can do we can choose mod of x minus 1 less than 10 to the power 3 by 3 then we have mod of x square minus 1 is less than 10 to the power 3 so here again the delta will be minimum of 1 comma 10 to the power 3 by 3 so basically it's a 1 only so the required condition on modulus of x minus 1 is this is less than 1 similarly for c choose mod of x minus 1 is less than 1 by 3n then we have mod of x square minus 1 less than 1 by n therefore delta is equal to minimum of 1 comma 1 by 3n and n belongs to natural number so this is equal to 1 over 3n therefore required condition on mod of x minus 1 is it should be less than 1 by 3n now there is a slight change in the d so here function changes to x cube minus 1 sorry the function changes to x cube and the limiting value is 1 and the epsilon is 1 by n so what we do again we will try to write mod of x cube minus 1 as less than some constant time mod of x minus 1 so how we can write this say since mod of x cube minus 1 is equal to mod of x minus 1 into x square plus x plus 1 now since mod of x square plus x plus 1 is less than or equal to mod of x all square plus mod of x plus 1 and this is less than or equal to 4 plus 2 plus 1 since mod of x is less than or equal to 2 from a this is equal to 7 therefore we got x square sorry x cube minus 1 is less than 7 into mod of x minus 1 now choose mod of x minus 1 is less than 1 by 7 n then we have mod of x cube minus 1 is less than 1 by n for all n belongs to natural number therefore delta is equal to minimum of 
1 comma 1 over 7n which is equal to 1 over 7n therefore the required condition on mod of x minus 1 is mod of x minus 1 is less than 1 by 7n so this is the solution so if you find any difficulties in the solution please comment thank you